today. Temperatures will be a few degrees above average, topping out in the low to mid 80s. And then as we head throughout the week, that cold front will knock down temperatures down all the way to the 60s for Thursday. And then for the 50s Friday, will be a cool couple of days. And then for the weekend, we do warm back up into the 70s for us. Right now, the winds are a bit breezy coming in from, from the south. Winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour. And as we head throughout the day, that will be the trend. It will be a breezy day. And overnight, the winds will subside just a bit. They will be light from the south before picking up again ahead of that cold front. And for today, it's going to be very sunny. There is no chance for rain. And then overnight, there may be a stray shower or two ahead of that front. And, and then rain chances do increase significantly as we head into the mid-morning hours tomorrow morning. And then rain will go on throughout the day. The bulk of the rain will fall off to the east. And there may be a strong storm or two with this front. And, and then the rain will be hanging around for Friday. But again, the bulk of the rain will fall to the east, so areas off to the west may be completely dry, with some areas in the east may get some pretty impressive rain totals during these couple of days for us. And then things do dry out for the weekend. Today we're seeing a high of 83, and then overnight temperatures falling down to the mid-50s with increasing clouds. And for Brownwood, temperatures a few degrees above average in the low 80s, and then overnight temperatures falling down to around 55 under partly clear skies. And here it is, the rest of that seven day forecast, 80s today, and then that cold front does drop temperatures down to about 60 for Thursday, chance for some rain Thursday, Friday, and then 50s for Friday, those low temperatures in the 30s for Friday and Saturday, and then we need to warm up to the 70s for the weekend, and then 60s to start next week. Ron?